When Americans think about space exploration, Cape Canaveral or Houston usually come to mind, but it all started right here in New Mexico, where at the Holloman Air Force Base, Dr. John Paul Stapp in 1954 rode this rocket powered sled 632 miles per hour, making him the fastest man alive and propelling us into the space age. His sled and some of the first rockets launched into space are all on exhibit here at the Museum of Space History in Alamogordo. You can get up close to all the technology our state scientists and researchers created in order to launch astronauts into the great beyond. Those researchers were not all human. Ham, the first chimpanzee sent into space, was trained here and is buried outside the entrance. Ham was named actually uh, using an acronym named after Holloman Aerospace Medical, where he was trained. Ham was just six years old when he wore this white and gray spacesuit, was strapped into a metal capsule like this one, and launched for a 15-minute flight. Ham was really was a favorite amongst the trainers. He was a lot mellower than a lot of the other monk, the, the chimpanzees that were in the in the study. So he was one of the ones who they found very easy to work with. Head up a few floors in the museum's space-themed elevator, and you can travel back to 1961, the year Ham soared above Earth. Museum visitors can even get a chance to feel what it would have been like to have watched Ham the chimp lift off on the Mercury Redstone with the rocket rumbler. Museum director Chris Orwall tells me he does not think New Mexico gets the credit it's due when it comes to our role in space history. First picture of space was in White Sands Missile Range. The first uh, animal launched into space, White Sands Missile Range. The Apollo astronauts trained here. Apollo engines were tested here. He's hoping now that Virgin Galactic Spaceport America is built and commercial space flight is on the horizon, New Mexico will not only have a leading role in the history, but the future of space exploration. Laura Terrain, KOAT Action 7 News.